And um, anyway, I was saying those desktops, I think that they, they exist. Uh, they do not exist in a vacuum. They are not making their own toolkit. And the toolkit is uh, basically developed by uh, third parties. What for them are third parties, right? Mm -hmm. Possibly some like Qt developer is also a Plasma or Qt developer or the other way for for, for XFCE, right? But the, the, I, I, it stands like the... Um, sorry. Um, what I mean to say is they either need to adapt to the changes uh, as if they were any other application developer or they will uh, fork and go their own way. And that's very much what XApps, mm -hmm. uh, as far as I understand, is trying to do, uh, forking off of GTK3 uh, for their own applications. And um, I think that that's like an interesting thing. But at the same time, it also kind of makes me Mm, kind of sad because they're losing on so much stuff that that's been going on in GDK four. Just for, I'm I'm sure it's not just about theming. It's probably also about other stuff that I am not aware of. But like, what I think would be the better option here would be the following. So GTK in and of itself, so like GDK four, is not married to Libadweta. Libadweta is its own project. You can very well use GTK4 without Libadweta, and that's fine. Um, what you can do is build something that basically competes with Libadweta mm -hmm. on top of GTK4, uh, basically a widget and style library. And if you want, you can also have that support themes. Who's stopping you at that point, right? Um, I think that that would be a better option, definitely the one that would require more developer effort um, but if they are, um, I don't want to say if they're serious about it. I'm pretty sure that they are serious about, uh, their decision right now. I just want to say, I think it would be a better option to, to start from GTK4 and work together with upstream instead of forking upstream in this particular scenario, because GTK4 is not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, not married to live data. Um, plus, like GDK4 has a bunch of stuff that many other toolkits don't have, like, for example, being GPU accelerated. For better or for worse, that's a huge deal compared to like more traditional toolkits like, like GDK3 uh, and like most, like, I don't think that most Electron apps are GPU accelerated. Mm -hmm. Maybe some are. Probably depends on like the version of Chromium it's based on. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think that they will go ahead with their thing. Uh, I hope it has a better, better success than um, than XApps have had up to this point. But if any Mint or XFC, develop, if any developer that's involved with XApps is, is listening, think about maybe um, working on your own Libadweta-like library that respects your desktop vision, that respects what you're trying to do. Because GTK4 is very... I think it is uh, has the right tooling around it to do that, and you can like you can clone Libadweta, like re remove all the stuff and add your own. I think <laughs> if you if we want to be very like skunkworks about it, um, and I think that the users will also benefit from that, uh, mm -hmm. also because like it's not just being about being GPU accelerated; it's about like actual stuff that in the, the that's different in the API from three to four mm -hmm. and like if you if you if you're still based on upstream gtk4 you're not gonna need to like uh update your apis and like make changes to to the code yourself because gtk3 as far as I know maybe it has some maintenance patches but I, as far as I know it's not it's like it's the development is done. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we moved on to GTK4. We're already looking ahead to GTK5. So I think that that, that, that the GTK3 ship has sailed a very long time at this point. And uh, as a developer that has used GTK3, I'd say good riddance. Um, it was a good toolkit for the time. Uh, GTK4, I think, is much better uh, for the developer and also for the user in a number of ways. It's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. Uh, but I think it's uh, very, very good for what it is. So regarding the whole GTK3, GTK4 thing, um, I, I've i not seen him clarify this. I need to have a proper conversation with Clem. Um, he says that somebody has forked GTK3. I, don't, I know there are a bunch of forks out there. Like on the... Um, 
on the like April update thread where they were talking about the except thing, I read through the comments he mentioned there was a fork. I don't know if that's a fork they're using. Again, he's not properly clarified it, so I can't comment on that. Um, now, the whole moving to GTK4 thing, this is something like Clem would have to properly specify himself. Like, this is just me going from what I can see him saying. His reason for not wanting to move up is... It's a very Mint reason, and it's a very... You expect this sort of answer from Mint, that GTK3 took a long time to get to the point where they were ready to move to it, and they're just happy now, and they want to enjoy GTK3 for a bit before moving up to GTK4. Which is not, you know, an answer that, you know, most people... Uh, users are going to like really care about but it's a very like mint likes to move very very slowly with their changes and that's that's mint doing their thing but as for the whole moving to gtk4 thing my understanding for why clem doesn't want to do that is he's unsure about the future i guess the the future direction of gtk not the whole specifically livid waiter but the toolkit itself and i, I we did briefly touch on the whole idea of GTK being agnostic toolkit before, but there's issues that Clem specifically brought up, like the this was opened up three years ago, it's got a GTK 5 label now, there's still some discussion about maybe doing it, uh, removing the GTK theme name setting from the toolkit entirely, there's the issue where they are considering maybe dropping the X11 backend. That is, like, neither of these are confirmed at this point. Uh, you have issues with GTK isn't... I, I, I believe they still haven't changed this. Uh, let me just double check. Cursor shape, Waylon, GTK. I believe that they are not interested in supporting the cursor shape protocol, which is going to allow you to do... Um, composite aside cursor themes because they don't want to support it in G uh, in uh, in GNOME. So th there's issues like that where, like, do you have something to say there? No, I'm just wondering. Compositor set cursor thing. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a relatively. Uh, is there a chat on here? Can I? Yes, there is. How do I send it? Um. So, instead of doing, um, I might have badly explained it, but it, it's basically a different way of doing, doing cursor themes. The exact details don't exactly matter, um, at least for, for right now. Um, and they're not opposed to getting it into Mudder, but there's no interest from, it would be like, if somebody wants to get into Mudder from outside of the project, they would maybe possibly consider it. But I, I I think you are like you do make a good point about moving up to GTK4 and then going from there. I think their concern is just where the toolkit's gonna go in the future and whether or not that future is aligning with what they're going to do at a core toolkit level, not the whole adding things onto it. I think right now it probably makes more sense to move to GTK4 and make their own version of Libid Waiter. I think you are right there, but I that's not the direction that they seem to want to be interested in. I think that um, these are perfectly valid concerns. Um, at the same time, I would say they are a big portion of the developers that use these kind of toolkits, right? Mm. They could, it, I, I don't know if they have tried or not, but like, I what I would do is try to get into the conversation and try to want like understand together with the GTK developers what's like the current state of things, what's like this, even like the suggested way of going forward. Because I suggested the, the like mint flavored Liba but mm. that's that's my idea. My maybe there's like a better way. Well, they uh, to they want to do the, with the X apps thing. They sort of want to have a. They want to make these generic X applications. So maybe it wouldn't be yeah, mint yeah. flavored. I think if they were to do something, adding their own theming system into it would make the most sense there. Yeah, mint flavored sounded better than X flavored. Also, because sure, X sure, is kind sure. of ambiguous these days. We have three way ambiguous because we have X apps, we have X lemon, and we have uh, whatever Twitter has become. 
Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, mint <laughs> flavor. Um, anyways, I I think that like it would be beneficial to like get into the conversation about like what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish, why we think like using GTK4 might be a good idea or might not be a good idea, and like asking for a confrontation about these topics with people that are actually like involved in decisions mm -hmm. uh, for GTK moving forward. Um, you like the thing about like having or not having this or that feature is definitely like a concern that I haven't uh, considered. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's why like I'm reconsidering uh, this as well. Um, but at the same time, like I'm thinking about the end user, right? Mm -hmm. It's not great to have like GTK3 apps have some missing functionality that is just too bad to 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 lose, right? Mm -hmm. Just for the sake of having a different desktop, because at the end of the day, like your this like uh, um, imaginary uh, new Linux user, uh, if it ever uh, if they exist, uh, that are just going to go to the Linux shop and buy the Linux computer. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to have, like, if, if they happen to land on something that runs Mint, uh, they're going to have a different experience from someone that runs Fedora, for right. example, right? Um, and if that, ex that experience might be just different or it might be actively worse. Like, mm -hmm. for example, um, if you are running, uh, like, if you're rendering your, your GUI with a, with a graphics card, it stands to, I'm not, I don't have numbers about this, but like, it stands to reason that it's more efficient just because the GPU is designed to draw pixels around. Um, I think that's the, uh, not controversial at all. GPU draws graphics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would think that like you might get okay. You will probably get better performance if they implement the change, right? You will. We might also get better battery life. Uh, you might get um, like smoother animations. You might get a better experience with high frame rate monitors, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. While on the other hand, if you're using still uh, GDK3, you're gonna waste a lot of system resources just to draw a window because the, the CPU has to do it, right? Um, we, and we're not even touching about stuff that even to this day, GTK still kind of struggles about, like big lists, right? That's the thing that is problematic. And it, it like for for like I, I have made at least three applications that rely on big lists that grow uh, and never stop. They, they are uh, virtually infinite, and big lists are definitely a big problem in in GTK still to this day. It was much worse in GTK three. It's somewhat better in GTK four, but still very much not a solved problem. Mm -hmm. um, they like users are gonna miss out. Um, if you have a GTK3 app with too many rows in a list box or uh, too many icons in a folder view, it's gonna crash. Uh, who knows if it's gonna bring the system down with it. Um, so this is the kind of stuff I'm thinking about. And like, oh, we lose him. The technology's sake, oh. right? Sorry, we cut out for a moment there. Oh, what did you left? Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, we good. Okay, we're back. I think. Are we? It, it looked... Your video and voice is desynced, but it looks like it's fine, so <laughs> just try Okay, it. test one, two, three. Can you hear me? Okay, we're good. I don't know what happened. It works. Cool. Hey, we're good. I, I think okay, so. great. Uh, magic. That, that, that's the explanation. Okay, um, what was I saying? I'm okay. So the thinking about the users is a thing. I like there's a part of me that also thinks about the technology because like me being a big nerd, I like to always be on the latest and greatest because I think it's just reasonable. Uh that might not necessarily be the case. Particularly like I'm thinking, oh, um, we took a long time to move to GTK3. We want to enjoy it before moving on. That's totally reasonable and like i understand that that's the same uh, idea of banks just moving off of windows xp finally to windows 7 uh, the new hotness right now no but like jokes aside a again it it's a matter of how much time you're going to invest in one thing or another because you might want to chase the latest version of gtk or you might want to chase the f actual feature set that you want to implement and like time is not infinite and at some point you just have to decide on what to invest on so it's reasonable but at the same time if you really don't have that much time to uh, move on to gtk4 do you have time to keep maintaining gtk3 on your own 
that's what? part of what I'm thinking. Here. I don't think it's a matter of not having time to move on. It's just not wanting to move users on too quickly. It's wanting to... It's wanting to move these changes out, but move them out very gradually. And, like, this is this sort of goes into their whole, like, not having Wayland support yet. Like, them even attempting to implement Wayland is only a very, very recent addition. This is not just on, on Cinnamon, but on Mate. Budgie is just very recently getting their, their Wayland stuff done, but Joshua is a crazy person and is getting it working in a year. I don't believe him. I have not, I've not, <laughs> I don't believe he's going to get it done, but he thinks he's going to get it done. Um, but when the support is a massive undertaking, and yeah, definitely. It's definitely something a little bit more involved than just migrating from one version to another. Of your sure. Topic, sure. But like the point I was getting at there was like mint, especially mint moves very slowly with their changes like they they want to be something where you know it still looks like windows 7 right like it if you used mint 10 years ago and you use mint today there will be some changes sure but it's not going to be like using gnome 10 years ago and gnome today like you will very much notice a difference instantly 